welcome to the Mantua Garage. Today's video is part one of explaining the display features of the Syncon display used on our Grove GHC crane models. As we keep improving on the screen features and operations on the GHC, we still use the same display in all the GHC models. So in this presentation, we're going to cover the symbols, navigations, features, layout, and the LMI information. All GHC models use the Syncon display. This is an added benefit for easy crane operations between all the GHC products. Starting with the versions, there are two current versions you will see in use. There are two older versions that we use at the launch of this product. Version 1 and version 2.1. These are quickly phased out to more user-friendly software versions. We'll start with version 2.2. Version 2.2 used a three-button display as seen here on the screen. On 2.2, there was no on-screen speed adjustments or ramp adjustments. With this in mind, version 2 plus 2 plus used a newer screen which was considered a four button display the additional fourth button has no function at this time but in this version we added the crane function speed adjustments and the ramp speed adjustments which now allows the operator to easily adjust the crane to his preference or job site requirements. On the GHC machines, we use one display for the safety and crane operations. The basic layout of the display will be very similar on all the GHC models. The model specific operations and features will be the notable differences. So the basic layout of the display will start from the top to the bottom. At the top, you have your quick select icons and buttons, your operating status, warnings and information symbols, the home screen, the menu selections, and the control elements. So for navigation purposes, let's look at the control elements first. The first button is unused on this version of the display. It is considered a four button display. The one before this was a three button display. The second button we will look at is a return button. So anytime you're navigating through the display, through the menus and through selections, by selecting this button or pressing this button, this will take you back one step. The third button we'll look at is the actual set or select button. So anytime you've made your changes or settings, you will press this button and this will set it to the system. The fourth button is your home button. This will take you back to the main operating screen. And the fifth item we will look at is the scroll knob. The scroll knob is very important for navigation purposes. Keep in mind, this will scroll from window to window, but also when you press the scroll knob, it will select a specific menu or an option. But anytime you want to set that option, you have to hit the set button. So let's look at the quick selection icons at the top of the screen. Some of these may vary depending on the model of crane that you have. It will show up black when it is turned off or yellow when it is activated when you press on the button. The first option, operating engine speed is reduced for fuel consumptions and the engine will shut off after a period of time of inactivity. When you want to restart the machine, there is a restart switch located on the right side console usually around the hand throttle. 
This provides an easy way to restart the machine without having to repower all the modules and reboot the system. Feature two, again, will reduce engine. That way it saves you fuel consumption again, but this does not shut off the crane with inactivity. So you have two eco options to select by just turning them on or turning them off. There's no adjustments to them. Quick select number three will be for the alarm. So anytime the alarm is going off for a warning or indication, this allows you to momentarily shut it off until you get the problem or issue changed or fixed. Item four is the tear feature. The tear feature gives you the ability to give you an approximate weight of what you are lifting. So after the tackle and everything is hooked up to the weight, you hoist up, it'll show you the approximate weight. Anytime you boom up, boom down, it will divert back to the actual load of everything added together. And then the last one, the fifth one for slewing speed reduction. So slow swing. Engine information. These icons will show you the RPMs, your fuel level, your water temp, your fuel consumption, the DEF level, and your hydraulic oil temp. Warnings and information symbols. The indicator symbols will notify you when there is something wrong, errors, warnings, so on and so forth. When there's nothing to respond to, everything is gray. When an action needs to be taken or looked at, it will show up in orange, or red. It may be flashing or it may be solid, depending on the indicator and the error or warning that it's trying to notify you of. You'll also notice above some of the symbols is a, a gray box or a black box. Usually it darkens in if there is an error or a warning to show you. If it is red, it is a new error that you haven't acknowledged yet and will show you the number or the count that there is under that category. You will see this later on in the window itself. On the main screen, there's a lot of information being displayed. So the first thing we will look at is the LML load capacity. This shows you your utilization. It'll show you when you're approaching the top of the chart for your working off of for the crane. Second one we look at is the actual load. So the load hanging off the hook, tackle, hook block and all. Third thing we'll look at is the max. This will be displayed for your crane configuration for what your max pick is for that given position you are setting at currently. The fourth will be hoist reeving and directions. So as you see, hoist one and hoist two, and then the arrows will be the direction as you pull the joystick for up or down. Five, so the allocated allocation of your winch and reeving again. So on these machines, you have the option to switch winch one to the left-hand side and winch two to the right-hand side. This will show you the allocations of the winches for the joysticks for visual purposes for safety. Below that is your slewing brake or swing brake and freewheeling, depending on, of course, your crane functions and what you're doing at the time. Working diagram, which will show you all your sensor readouts, of course, for your length, your angle, and your slope. And also at the bottom of the screen, it will show you the configuration that you have chosen to run on the machine itself. So that concludes this session. Hopefully you'll find the information very helpful. Keep in mind, there's all the detailed information in the operator's manual for all the menus and screens that I just covered. 
Thanks for tuning in to Manic Walk Garage. Please tune back in for future videos.